Hello everyone, I'm going to find Mast here and today we have a video on my top 5 favourite models. So, to anyone this would be a pretty difficult choice and decision. Um, to me it took a while, but I've narrowed it down to these 5, there's many more I could have chose and would have chose, but off the top of my head, these are the 5 I chose. But for more videos we could do top five tractors top five trailers things like that so if that's something you're interested in let me know and we can do one of them for the next midweek video but let's get straight into this one so first of all i think we all guessed what it was going to be Viking 6930 conversion we all knew there's going to be at least one 30 series on here uh, to be fair, I wish I could do them all for the series, but we'd make a quite boring video to most of you. So, here we have the famous 6 9 the one you see most of the time. Bigger rims and tyres fitted, front linkage that folds, has twin beacons, all realistic lights fitted, chrome exhaust, twin CBs. Um, a driver added, the number plate is put on the British side, we also have a grease gun fitted on the steps, just to add a little bit more detail, but you just can't go wrong with these tractors really, overall great tractor. We'll uh, move on to the next one, try not to make this video too long. We have Britain's John Deere 3650 conversion by Hugh Barr. And this is the full spec conversion he does. Um, so we have new rims and tyres fitted. New mud guards. Have a folding front linkage, as we can see. We have realistic lights fitted all around. Twin beacons, open sunroof, stainless pipe, and a more realistic air cleaner. More realistic steps and grab handle. Coming around to the rear, have a more realistic three point linkage, which adjusts to size of implement and then top link that I've just put on really you can't go wrong with Hugh Bar builds first one I've ever had seen many before and I'm sure there'll be much more to come in the future so we'll move on to the next one which is a Britain's New Holland DB960 square baler conversion. So, as we can see, normally these come as a twin axle baler, but she's on single axle on flotation tyres. We have a stand fitted to the front and pipe work. Moving around to the back. Twin beacons and work lights fitted. A few other extra details painted and stickers on. Overall, just think she looks a smart baler and is quite unique, really, because I ain't seen another one like it. We'll go to the next one. We have the DM Farm Models Abbey Twin Axle Tanker and I've been thinking it was a 3,500 gallon but it turns out it's actually a 4,000 so this is probably one of the top top favourites I would like a high spec off him really as well but the detail on these and the weight to them is second to none 
they definitely look good two as a pair uh, in a lovely setup so we'll have to see if we can get all of another one but we'll uh, have a quick look into the Abbey so we've got a filled tube a PTO driven pump no hydraulic pump she's on air brakes and we've got our pipes lights and hydraulic brakes we've got two fill points on the side a nice long pipe very detailed wheels and tires going to the back she's got twin beacons on two spotlights uh, fill eye lights on the back for your indicators and brake lights She's on splash plate with two fill points on the back, but just take a minute to look at the detail add to the rear there. Got our big mud flaps on. And then to the other side. We've got a little storage box, another fill part. So she's fairly well specced. Uh, something you'd maybe see in a contractor's tanker. Um, but definitely up there on the favourites, I'd say it's probably near the top with the 6.9. If only she was a high spec, but we'll do with an Abbey for now. Moving on to the last one. Last model, we have a Bremer Models Brahan Dump Trailer, if that's how you pronounce it. She's been specced up as a 20 tonner, and I've gone for a full sort of contractor spec or a high spec one. So she's a faster on high speed axles, but flotation tyres, obviously. Got air brakes added to the front. We'll just spin around a little bit. And you see the 20 ton stickers on. You'd maybe say she's an 18 to 20 ton dump trailer. Uh, I can see she's also got a working clothes on. Uh, she's been out laying soil. Come around to the rear. Got a nice mud flap on the back. Um, but yeah, I put a, I want an 80k sticker on the back, so she could be towed at a fair bit of speed with her high speed axles if you ever wanted to put her on, say a Unimog or a Fast Track. But these kits are just getting better and better from James. Um, can't wait for the tankers to come out. Um, but they're a great piece. It's got the tail door on that goes over the rear of the sides, not one that goes inside the trailer. Uh, I prefer it like that, really. Um, some like it the other way, some don't. But overall, looks really nice in black. Also, in blue, they look really well. Won't mind a blue one, maybe. But, um, yeah. So that's just been a little glimpse into my top five favourite models. Um, I mean, I'm sure we all know there'd be a lot more and there is a lot more. But that was the first ones that came to my head and I thought, why not do a video on them? So if you'd like to see a video on maybe top five favourite tractors, top five trailers things like that or if you have any more ideas on what you'd like to see let me know let me know what your favorite is out of the five here today and don't forget to like comment subscribe share and also click the notification bell so you know when i upload videos but thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one